What's up guys? So today, a different video. I'm gonna share with you my top five blind buys of 2020. So blind buy is something that I don't really advocate for. I always tell you guys not to do it, but I'm guilty as charged. I do it quite often. And I've actually compiled a list of the top 15 fragrances that I blind bought this year from many that I blind bought, but these are the 15 that I truly love, but I'm gonna share five with you today. If you guys wanna see a part two, a part three of this particular blind buy subject, be sure to leave it in the like. If this video hits 500 or more likes, I will definitely do a part two for you guys. So without any further ado, these are my top five blind buys of 2020, guys. Let's do it. What's up guys? So today, a little something different for you guys. This is a subject that I get asked about almost on a daily basis. People want to know, hey, should I blind buy this fragrance? Do you recommend blind buying? And my answer is inevitably always no. Do not blind buy if you can help it. I do enjoy doing it from time to time. I like that butterfly feeling in the stomach that I get before it gets in the mail. And then when the package arrives, opening that package and trying the fragrance to see if I'm going to like it or not. So I do enjoy that. It's a little bit of a crazy feeling that I've had for many years. You know, I've been in this game for about 12 years now. I've been collecting fragrances for almost 20 years. So needless to say, I do my share of blind buying. So these are going to be the, the five that I really loved and really blew me away and kind of like was totally out of left field some of these. I couldn't believe how good they were. So I'm going to share with you, but I don't recommend the short answer here is no. If you guys can help it, if you guys can try it before you buy it, if you can get a decant, definitely do so and you can do most of these fragrances if not all of them are available at myfragrancesamples.com so I'm going to have the link below with their Christmas code that they have going on right now for the holiday season so enjoy that extra savings and try these before you buy them but sometimes if it's a great deal I just go ahead and pull the trigger because I can't wait to get the decan I just want the damn bottle but without any further ado guys let's hop into these choices so at the fifth spot here and these are in no particular order perhaps the first two are going to be my favorites but these are all great blind buys in my opinion. Again, I'm not condoning or suggesting you guys go blind buy these, but they were successful blind buys for me nonetheless. First one here at the fifth spot, we have a Zaro Pour Homme Wild Mint. Now this is a 2019 release. Actually, this is a 2020 release. The whole collection was released in 2019 and this was the latest uh, iteration of this Pour Homme new uh, sensual blends, which actually was quite hyped in the fragrance community this year. But I have to say, this is definitely my favorite along with ginger. I love ginger, which is like a Blue de Chanel, spicier ginger Blue de Chanel. And this one here really blew me away. It has a lot of mint in here, especially at the top. It has this Calypsone slash watermelon vibe. A great scent. I think it made my top summer affordable fragrances. You pick this up for like under 30 bucks. I think I paid $26, $27, 400 mil. This actually unscrews at the top. So if you want to decant this, you can with the pipette. So... I love what they did here. The bottle looks beautiful. I think it's great. You know, it's going to smell great. You know, Like I said, you have that watermelon, salty watermelon, you know, nautical kind of marine vibe to the fragrance with the Calypsone. Tons of mint here, especially in the first hour of the fragrance. Then it dies down to this creamy patchouli slash watermelon vibe. I love the stuff. Also has that bluish vibe that I talked about, but it also has a little bit of a fougere-ish kind of a vibe in the back. So, I love what they did here, and for under 30 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So at Zara Pour Homme Wild Mint, the whole sensual blend is definitely worth checking out. If you want a budget, you want to smell great, these will last about seven plus hours, and the price, you just can't beat it. Wild Mint here at the fifth spot, favorite blind buys of 2020. And by the way, all the fragrances that I'm talking about, I think for the most part, I have full reviews on. If I do have a full review, I'm going to pop it up here so you guys can check it out. Wild Mint, I know I have a full review on, and this one, next one coming up here is definitely one that I did a full review for you guys because it was that good and I wanted to share with you. Of course, I'm talking about Bentley. This is going to be Four Man Silver Lake. Now, Bentley overall has a great fragrance line. I think it's the best car brand out there. They do a great job. It's long lasting. The pricing is great, performs well, it smells amazing. This one here is no different. This one here is going to be called Silver Lake, which is the newest 2020 release. Again, full review was done for you guys. I'll pop it up here. What I love about this fragrance is because it smells great. It's going to be another great one for summer and springtime. And what this reminds me of, this is going to be very similar to a very sought after discontinued fragrance from, from our money, the Aqua de Gio collection, Aqua de Gio um, Essenza, which is very expensive these days, hard to find. Bentley was just smart to release this fragrance because they knew people wanted Essenza. So they, they were like, let me come up with a fragrance that's very close. I'd say 80, 85% close to its sense that there's lavender here there's a very peppery beginning here 
But I'd say after the first 35, 40 minutes, when you get really into the heart of the scent, it's very, very similar to Aqua de Gio at Senza, guys. If you guys miss that fragrance, if you want something that's long lasting, it's, it's gonna smell great, last a long time. I got 10 plus hours, a whole day's work, and, they, and then some. I think this is something you can wear casually. You can dress it up, dress it down. You're gonna smell great. If you miss that fragrance, a great alternative right here on Bentley Four Man Silver Lake. Next up, we have a fragrance that you guys heard me talk about an awful lot, and rightfully so. It's a great release. It was a great blind buy. It just blew me away. I actually did a first impression for you guys on camera because I was doing an unboxing that I've done for you guys. Many unboxings, first impressions this year. This was featured in one of them. And this is, of course, Salvatore Ferragamo's Oud Poem. Now, Salvatore Ferragamo, just like Cartier, I think are two great houses. Isimiaki as well. I'm going to, you know, cluster those three together. I think they are great brands that will offer a big bang for your buck. I think they, they make very creative fragrances, very well blended, long lasting for a great price. This one here I paid, I think, just a little under 50 bucks. Probably sold that at this point. They might have it where I picked it up. Again, I'm going to have all these fragrances list in the description for you guys. If you want to pick up a bottle, hopefully they still have it in stock. But this one here, I also didn't, actually, I did a full review for you guys of this one. So I'm going to pop it up here so you guys can check it out. Definitely worth checking out, guys. Now, this fragrance here, is going to be mostly a leather, tobacco, and spicy kind of a fragrance with a benzoin and tonka bean base. It smells so freaking good. It reminds me of a modern version of Hermes Bellamy. I featured this fragrance on my latest video, the Top Winter Designers. This is an incredible fragrance, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you like cognac, if you like the boozy facet, the leather, the spices, this is not gonna let you down. I think it's well worth the price, you know, just a little under 50 bucks. I mean, heck, if this was 70 bucks, I would pay, I would pay it with a smile, you know. And the fact that I bought this blindly and just blew me away, it just makes me love it even more, guys. Check this out if you haven't. Definitely a great blind buy if you do enjoy fragrances, you know, that I enjoy if you have a taste similar to mine. But again, if you can get a decant, maybe don't blind buy it. This is going to be, like I said, a modernized version, sweeter version uh, with that Tonka Benzoin. Uh, of Bellamy for uh, for man, you know, or Mass Bellamy for man, which is kind of an aged, dated kind of a fragrance these days. I love it. I think it's a masterpiece leather fragrance. This one here has some oud, but it's in the background. It's mostly a tobacco, leather, spices, benzoin, patchouli, and that beautiful tonka in the background that adds that sweetness to it. And needless to say, a great blind buy for 2020. Next up here, this was actually one of my first blind buys of 2020. I believe I picked this up early this year, January, February. And I did a full review for you guys. I'll pop it up here. And it was definitely my one of my favorite designer blind buys because it just blew me away from the first impression, from the scent, you know, the, the first spray. I just was like, wow, this stuff is amazing. People need to hear about this. From a brand back to back, you know, Salvatore Ferragamo, now Cartier. Could have included Isimiyaki here as well because I did get some, some blind buys from them this year that were actually pretty good. But this one here was definitely one of my favorites this year. This is going to be Pasha. The Cartier, and this is the Parfum 2019 edition, but I only picked it up in 2020, hence the fact that it's here. And this stuff here, I'm so glad I blind bought it. It smells like a million bucks, guys. I believe it made my top fall designers. It smells so good. Again, boozy whiskey. Mathilde Laurent was the actual perfumer, and she nailed this fragrance. She kept the scent profile, the DNA of the original Cartier Pohon, which is more of a Chypre meets Fougère. But she added these incredible nuances to this fragrance, like the whiskey, sandalwood, tons of cinnamon here. It's spicy, it's warm, it's cozy, it's balsamic. One word to sum this up, this is stellar, guys. If you haven't checked this out, definitely consider checking it out. One of my favorite discoveries and blind buys of this year, hands down, guys. From the designer game, amazing Cartier Pasha Parfum 2019-2020 release. Great blind buy, guys. Not saying go blind buy, but if you have a taste similar to mine, if you like the original, you're going to love this one. Last but not least, the last blind buy here comes from the house of Penhaligans, which is a great house. If you love classy, you know, sophisticated, elegant fragrances, they do an amazing job. You know, the collection that has the, the metal heads are just incredible. But this one here comes from the Halfati collection, which the nose behind all of the Halfati fragrances is actually Christian Provenzano, which was actually featured at Scent Explore 2020. Love his fragrances. And this one here won a couple awards. It's just a great, beautiful, lacquered wooden box that comes in. And this, of course, How Fatty Leather Eau de Parfum. This stuff here smells amazing. What I love about this fragrance, I've actually been wearing this quite nicely now because it's getting warm. It's getting colder now. Not warm. This is making me warmer when I wear it, but it's getting colder out. 
And this is just an outstanding scent, guys. I get a little booziness up top, but it's definitely a very nice leather, spicy leather with plum. There's a great note of plum here and spices. There's also beautiful patchouli at the dry down. And what this reminds me of, guys, this reminds me of a darker, more resinous, pungent version of this particular fragrance here, which is discontinued. Bun number nine uh, in the Warhol fetches huge money now online. And also Plum Japanese from Tom Ford. So if you like those two fragrances, this is definitely going to get your juices flowing. You're going to love this fragrance because, again, it's going to be resinous. It's going to have that beautiful skanky leather, which is, you know, embellished by these spicy components and the gorgeous, beautiful, boozy plum that I get here. A great blind buy for me. This was the most expensive of all the blind buys here. I think I paid $170 or something. But I'm glad I did because it is an outstanding fragrance. If you love Penhaligans, if you love Niche, if you like dark leather fragrances and if you love plum, like I said, this stuff here will blow you away. One of my favorite blind buys of 2020, hands down. And of course, guys, if you do appreciate what I do here by sharing these blind buys with you, leave me a like, touch the little subscribe button. I keep you guys in the know. That's what I do here. And of course, subscribe for a lot more videos straight into your feed. And if you want to see a part two or part three of my favorite blind buys of 2020, I've done a ton of blind buys, ton of unboxings for you guys. So I definitely have at least a part two and a part three of great blind buys that I would love to share with you guys. If you want to see those videos, leave it on the like. Like I said, if it hits 500 or more, I'll do a part two. If it does a thousand plus likes, I will definitely come back with a part three as well. Thanks for tuning in guys. That's all I have for you guys today. My top favorite blind buys of 2020. Stay tuned. I have a lot of great content for you guys still to come to close out 2020 and pour us into 2021 guys. Fingers crossed, it'll be a better year, and we'll have this whole pandemic thing under control. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so pick your fragrance wisely and wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys right back here again with another video very soon. Take care.